welcome to another episode of Happiness Amplified. I'm very happy to have as our guest, former Prime Minister of New Zealand, Ms. Helen Clark. Thank you very much Thank for being a guest. You just finished a fantastic panel discussion. And the major topic was leadership. And the question becomes, how do you develop leaders that do what's right versus do what it takes to get elected in the future generation of leadership? I think first it's the expectations of society. I come from a small, very engaged society, uh, which expects politicians to be transparent and honest and to lead on issues. Now, some do it better than others, but uh, we create a, a social and political context where this is expected. So my message really is to civil society, don't disengage. You must be engaged. You must be pushing your expectations of what you expect of leaders. And the chances are you will get leaders who will rise to the occasion. Beautiful. And speaking of leadership of the future and moving Europe ahead and so other continents, we observed a lot of transformation where a lot of great ideas and futuristic movements on solar energy power, on batteries, get generated, put an agenda in Europe and other places. And China is so quick in implementing it and becoming world leader. How do we change this? You know, there's a lot of conversation about maybe changing the institution, but sometimes it seems like maybe there are many, too many bureaucratic institutions and that's what takes time. How do you view this change? I don't think that individual governments should be waiting for Europe to tell them what to do. It's clear what has to be done on sustainability. Get on with it. It may be that getting consensus on a European standard is going to take time. Just move ahead of it. Don't wait for it. You know, if, if you wait for European bureaucracy and consensus procedures to lead you on some of these things, you're waiting too long. So for all those who just want to get on with it, I say get on with it. A bit like states in the USA. At the moment, the federal government's missing an action on climate action. But California isn't, New York right. isn't, Washington State isn't, big cities aren't. So that is getting on and doing it. And last question, coming back to more global issues, we just brought up the United States. The United States uh, very different, obviously, from Europe in many ways, but one fundamental way is that they cherish sovereignty, not just on national level, but individual state and government level. Versus in Europe, there are a lot of conversations, not just about European Union, but you know, there's some conversations about maybe even getting, ri getting rid of local governments. And I imagine part of the reasoning is the history of two world wars and the suffering that happened, that you know, European is, I think, very mindful of it. So how do you, with these two different visions, perspectives, and the backgrounds and the history, how do you see reconciling the two and bringing continents together in that sense? I don't think citizens will tolerate local government going, because local government is the layer of government closest to the people. People get the best hearing there. The further you go up, inevitably, the more geographically remote the uh, government is from, from citizens. So local government has to be seen as an absolute pillar of democracy. And in many ways, uh, progressive local governments can show up national governments who are, who are dragging the, the chain on, on action and issues. Beautiful. Well, Prime Minister, it was an honor and pleasure. Thank you very much. And these were the perspectives from former Prime Minister of New Zealand, Ms. Ellen Clark. I'm happy to bring this information to you. I'm always looking for your feedback. If you have any questions, comments, please be sure to put them down, write them down, send an email in any form. And if you haven't done so, please be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss future programming. If you have any suggestions, recommendations, this is what we are here for. Till next time, meanwhile, be sure to share with your friends. And I look forward to future information being shared with you through this happiness amplified programming. Thank you very much.